Greetings fellow Empyreans, I am Ashtarathi, and this is a bit of a follow-up to my Crossing Zebras article uh, about... Let me make sure I get it right this time. Um, arms Race, not Alpha Strike. I got it wrong originally, uh, which was awesome, but uh, thank you to Dire Necessity for correcting that very quickly, and we got it corrected on the, uh, in the article. At any rate... Um, so this is a follow-up to that article. I will link it below in the doobly-doo in if you haven't read it so that you can have some context. Um, but basically I am revisiting this from a couple of things that people brought up uh, as well as looking at it specifically from an alpha point of view. So what's interesting is that um, from an alpha perspective this this event kind of holds some very interesting meaning that I didn't quite suss out until I started trying to play my alpha um, and figure out my strategy for her in the future. Uh, I made these alphas as part of my live stream to kind of get my head around the alpha experience and see whether or not free to play was, uh, you know, uh, viable, I should say. Uh, and ultimately, you know, made my conclusions and, and didn't play them quite as much, but I did train them. So this one is fully trained, or pretty much fully trained to as much as the alphas could train prior to this. So she's got 4.59, almost 4.6 million skill points. Uh, so she can train 400,000 more skill points before she's capped out. Um, regrettably, I didn't do the 250,000 there, but uh, now unallocated this SP counts towards your total SP. So even if I had 250,000 SP from um, like my buddy program or whatever, it still would count towards my 5 million, so it would stop my, me from training earlier. So that doesn't matter. Um, so here I am. I've got the, uh, you know 400,000 SP, and I'm thinking about what I want to do next. The new alpha injectors are very interesting. What uh, my the specifics of my challenge that I want to do now is that I want to see whether or not I can get my an alpha up to the maximum alpha skill set without ever going omega. Whether or not I can fully free to play it up, which means skill injectors and, and these the new micro skill injectors, the daily skill injectors. Um, I've already kind of done some of the math for them. They're equally uh, kind of effective from an alpha perspective. Uh, any anyway, rate, so the question is, what do I want to do next? And unfortunately, a lot of the equipment I had before wasn't good enough. So I really want to get into uh, like a battle cruiser, so like a Drake, so I can do level threes. And I know that Drakes use meta weapons, so thank thank God I don't need to tra train medium weapons. But I do need to train Drakes. Um, but as it turns out, these rogue sw swarm sites. Um, the events, if you get the first reward that they give you is uh, a free battle cruiser and uh, the the skill book for that uh, for your race's battle cruiser. So that's really cool. Uh, you know while that's a really lame reward from somebody with any kind of experience, if you happen to be like in my situation where you're an alpha looking for the next step because you've been playing this game as an alpha since last year, uh, this is really pretty much perfect for you to help give you that thing to kind of be like, okay, well, here's your next step and give you, uh, it even gives you that skill injector um, as a way of saying, okay, well, here's 50,000 skill points to help you kind of jump into that equipment as soon as you can get your hands on it, um, which is really cool. So the other thing that's noteworthy about that is that the agency event in particular, one of the things I noticed was that this the number of sites event or uh, task got completed a little bit faster than the killed rogue drones um, task. And at first, I, I figured that this was because um, maybe people would be killing rogue drones other ways, or you know whatever, or maybe in belts. But then I've realized what's happened is is that these totally crap drones on the side that are instant pop kill them are worth these points. They're, they're, they count as, as killing targets. So what that means is, is that I can very quickly go into these sites and uh, oddly enough, I'm in high second and, and this site isn't being contested, but uh, most of the time 
the site is being contested. And as an alpha, there's no way I'm going to actually contest the site. But what I am going to do is be able to get enough points to get that free battle cruiser, um, and that and that becomes very very valuable to me, um, and and it kind of sets me on a path. It did cause me to you know I did have to think about it a little bit, but it you know it came naturally as I was trying to kind of piece together my puzzle. Um, so in that sense, I think that it might have been a lot more effective than I originally gave it credit for. Um, that being said. I think that the real problem is is that um, the point bonus needs to be a clear selling point, right? And so I actually would recommend, in this case, changing the skill injector because the skill injector is the new fancy thing. Switch it to the end item. And that way you feel at least a little bit special about what you're getting. Um, and even for somebody who isn't an alpha, you can still give it to your alt. You can, you can, it's your some, it's something to sell on the market. It's worth, uh, what, like 60 million isk. Um, so that's, uh, you know, it, 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 it's pretty cool. And it doesn't feel as unimaginative as having the battleship. So maybe it's just the placement, but I would still prefer a trophy, um, at the end. So that way when I complete the task, I can kind of walk away and show the the fruits of my labor, so to speak. Um, I know, like in Hearthstone, when I played, it was a really big deal for me to get the uh, the card back every month because it was my participation trophy, and so I'd look at all my card backs. And I can really, it's interesting because I can look back now and see exactly when I stopped playing um, because my record ends. I stop having all of the card backs. And uh, so I think that if you're going to have something like points in an event with a, a, an end point, right? Like you've now accumulated all the points, you've made it to the end, that something should be tangible enough that later on I can even, I could know that I even did the event at all. Um, and if you're not gonna do that, I'm not sure what you're, what you're doing. Now I know that, um, you know, they, they've been cautious about putting too much into it. But I really think that the rest of the feature is getting to the point where that's necessary because um, what's happening is that this is coming across as being unimaginative at best and potentially cheap at worst. Um, and it's causing people to, to think badly about these events. And I don't think that the agency has to only cater to new players. like this. This feature in the way it's thought up does uh, focus on the alphas, which is fine. Um, but as I said, like even a little bit of framing can make it feel a little bit better. Um, the other thing that was brought up was about the skins and the fact that because they've changed the name of the, of the skins and they're releasing it during, the, during this instead of during the Yule Festival like they did last year, that, that could indicate that this is their plan to to give it out every year as if this is like the christmas skin um and that's an interesting thought it would make it makes more sense for it to be rare and the fact that you would like they expect you to complete it every you know over the course of you know years maybe um or maybe just like keep injecting them into the market in order to keep them valuable but not too valuable um you know th these are ways of thinking about it What's mostly going to be interesting to me is to see how the next event this month, the one that's coming out in after the 20th, um, how that plays out. Because there's a lot of confusion about this event because it's giving out stuff that I would have expected to have been part of the other event. Um, so I don't know if both events, if like the events are going to be similar in nature <laughs> or maybe there's going to be uh, just giveaway presents for Yule instead of sites like last year, but it's going to be the same stuff. I don't know. There's just too much speculation at this point to know. Um, so that's going to be an important thing to pay attention to is how these, um, oh dear, I should probably pay attention to the actual fight itself. When I don't have friends here, it's, it becomes kind of complicated. Um, At any rate, uh, well, whether or not I die. 
Uh, that about wraps it up for my thoughts on this matter. Um, we will see whether or not I manage to make it now that I am out of shields. I'm going down fast. Is there even loot? Nah, there's no loot. Let's see if I escape. I escape. All right, well... There you have it. As an elf, but it, again, it doesn't even matter. A uh, little bit of excitement, but it doesn't really matter because I still managed to get uh, my goal for now. Oops. Even as I cannot, I clearly can't even finish a site solo uh, very easily as an alpha, I still am able to complete the agency points, um, which matters to me great, greatly, as, a, as we pointed out. So um, even still, it looks like I am good to go so i'm gonna go collect my free battle cruiser and uh use my new free drake so in that sense as an alpha i want to say thanks ccp uh at least that part of the reward is actually pretty pretty well designed for me pretty clever um and i guess that about wraps it up so thank you all for listening and i'll see you in space <laughs>